Where do we get started? Meatless Mondays, Vegan Fridays, what's next? Tofu Tuesdays, Plant Based Wednesdays, Soy Boy Thursdays, how about Puss Boy Weekends? You know, the craziest thing about all of this to me is how gullible people are. Most will admit that meat is bad for you, fruits and vegetables are healthy, and this is a huge problem because the masses need to understand that meat consumption, animal protein, is vital for your health, especially during developmental stages. Vegans love to argue that the only reason to eat meat is for taste. Oh, meat tastes good. No, it's so your brain will work, function properly, something vegans aren't used to. Honestly, has anyone seen a healthy vegetarian or vegan? Women are notorious for becoming anemic zombies when removing meat from their diet, but are so gaslighted that beef is the devil, they would rather wither away. You hear it all the time. You know, girls stand up or get up out of bed and they feel like they're going to pass out. It's crazy. Young women in their teens that are supposed to be healthy. With a new mayor comes a new menu for New York City public schools. Tomorrow, the city will roll out vegan Fridays. CBS News Leia Michigan with reaction from parents and students to the new veggie forward menu. Put down the pizza and that burger. Students grades K through 12 are going vegan on Fridays. I didn't know that actually. The new initiative will kick off tomorrow with vegan veggie tacos for high school lunch. Students outside LaGuardia wondering why no meat? They already have a vegan option, so why should they force everybody to go vegan on Fridays if there is a vegan option? It has to have chicken. Come on, it you has gotta to have, have chicken, chicken beef. Order. New York City's Department of Education says you'll be able to request non vegan items if you choose. I think it's great. This mom of two says her family is vegetarian, vegan half the time. Try to give them a variety, a diversity of food, flavors, vegetarian, vegan. Um, there's some meat nights. She's happy schools are offering different options. Her pre-K son's favorite food? Apples. Vegan Mayor Eric Adams says this initiative is a way to expose kids to healthier food. This month on Fridays, they'll experience Mediterranean chickpeas served with rice or pasta and black bean and plantain rice bowls. In one voice, we talk about fighting childhood obesity, diabetes, uh, yet you go into a school building every day and you see the food that feeds our health care crisis. I'm going to do the best I can to give them the options of a more healthier diet. I think that's fantastic. They throw in um, cool things. The DOE says meatless Mondays and Fridays have been a success. This builds on it, they say, with a nutritious menu that groups of students have sampled and approved. On the Upper West Side, Leia Mishkin, CBS 2 News. And the mayor, of course, has spoken many times about how being a vegan has changed his life. He credits this plant-based diet with reversing his diabetes diagnosis. I like the idea. I have a lot of feeling, though, that kids are going to come home hungry. <laughs> yeah, it sounds real good <laughs> until it's in front of you. Exactly. <laughs> so you got to eat it. May take some time to get used to. That's right. Hey, there's the truth. They lied to you for two minutes straight. Then admit your kids are going to come home hungry because they're being starved to death with the plant-based school slop. This is comical. The clowns that caused the healthcare crisis with their toxic foods are replacing it with the same toxic foods just without the meat. I mean, I mean everyone in that video, including the mayor, has dark bags under their eyes with a gaunt face. You know, it looks like it's like a pile of mush about to peel off. And I didn't realize that these kids were being forced to go vegan. I thought it was just going to be an option. But they flip the script. Everything is vegan. And then they have to ask for the meat option. And I'm sure they'll be guilted. Oh, you're destroying the planet by asking for meat. As a 12-year-old kid, it's dis despicable. Despicable. I mean, we've seen this over and over again. Typical media blitz BS. Everyone needs to know about how healthy the New York City public school vegan kids are going to be. Now, this public school situation was horrible to begin with. And we all know with the you know what <coughs> for the past two years has just made this worse. These kids who come from poor families don't really have a choice in what they eat. And now they have to suck down this slop. I won't talk about meatless Mondays because we already did a video a few years ago, if you want to check that out. And I think they're literally 
going to turn everything vegan at some point. This kind of reminds me about how I really wanted to open a soup kitchen after getting that slaughterhouse last year. There's a ton of extra meat from meat processing that is not expensive enough to sell or ship, especially the bones. You know, so it would have been nice to offer people nutritional beef that they couldn't normally afford. You know, too bad it looks like I'll uh, be in Colombia soon enough with how things have been going on the business end. But thank you guys for joining me. I saw this a couple hours ago, figured do a quick video if you guys are not in the loop on all of the crazy nonsense going on in New York City. So if you could please drop a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you can check out frank safanocom to support me through all of my businesses before I completely lose my mind. And this is, this is what I do on a Friday night, guys. I couldn't find a Mexican girl to lock me up in her basement, so I'm uh, dressed up in silver clothing in my parents' house hiding from radiation.